in phonics today, we're going to be looking at the uh family or the short uh family. And this family look like this. So we've got the uh as in book, the uh with a single ah uh, as in push, the o, uh, the ah, uh, and the u uh, together making an uh sound as in should, and an o, uh, uh, the letter o uh, making an ah. Uh, uh sound in some in some words and we've got the example of uh as in love uh as in sh uh, d should uh as in push and uh as in book okay so let's have a look so today i'd like you to divide your page into four so we've got the uh the uh the uh and the uh Obviously, normally that makes an "o" oh sound, but in some words, it makes the short "uh" sound. Okay, so you, your page should be divided into here. What we're going to do is we're going to make a word list. Lots of different words um, that we come up with. I will give you some, and then if you'd like to add some of your own ones with the help of your parents, that would be fantastic. Okay, let's have a look at our first prompt, our first um, picture is a picture of a book and as you can see if you look very closely you can spot the everywhere bear stuck up in the corner just like in our classroom and the everywhere book is up in that corner okay so it's a book b -uk, book so you can hear the uh sound and we know that in book it's a double o that double o making the short uh sound so we can write b -uh. And I'm going to underline the uh, the double O's, because they are the, the letter sounds that are making the uh sound. Okay, so if you'd like to add that to your list, book. Okay, let's see what we've got now. Oh, now we've got three words here. Words that we use a lot in our speaking, in our writing, and our reading. And they're quite tricky words, so I've, they're all here together. So we've got k, uh, d, could w uh d would and sh uh d should you can notice that in each of them there's a all and we don't make an all sound when we're when we're reading so these are all tricky words and words that we've just got to learn so i'd like you to practice writing all three of these into the column okay and they're going to go in this column here the o uh, the uh and the all so let's start with could k uh, and that silent L, and then we can hear a D sound at the end. And then there was would. Would you like to come to my house? Not the type of wood that you would burn. I'll write down here the type of, oh, let's write underneath, the type of wood you would burn or the type of wood that a table might be made out of. That's written like this. But this is, would you like to come to my house? Would you like to go to school today? So we've got could, would, and the last one was should. So we've got the sh sound, the uh sound, and the d sound. And it's the o, the a, uh, and the u uh, making the uh sound in those words. Okay, fantastic. They're very tricky words though, so well done. Okay, so here we have a picture of a cheeky monkey. Monkey. Now it does sound like there's an ah uh sound in monkey, but there isn't. M the the uh sound is made using the o, uh, making an uh sound. M, ah, n, k, e, monkey. Ah, m, ah. Uh. Okay, can you see there? It's the o, uh, making the ah uh sound. M, unky. L and the example they gave us right at the beginning was the word love. So we could add that one into l, a, uh, v. And it's the o uh, making the a uh sound. Very confusing phonics, isn't it? Well done. Okay, so we've got the monkey. Oh, we've got some cushions. Cushions. And you can hear the u uh sound again in cushions. So let's add that in. And that's the u uh made by the a. Uh. So k, uh, sh, ums, cushions, and it's the uh here 
the a uh, making the uh sound in cushions. Well done, that's a very good list if you can spell all those words. Oh, and here we are, we've already added some wood in. Okay, and that isn't the wood that we've got here, the wood and the wood, but how I've written wood actually goes w, u, uh, d, and it's the double O here making the uh sound in wood. And that's the wood that you would burn on a fire, wood that trees are made out of. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, and the word love. I'm jumping ahead of myself today. And we've already written the word love. If we let's just have a look. And it's the o oh, making the a uh sound in love. Well done. <clears throat> oh, now these people here, one set of people are pushing and one set of people are pulling. Push and a pull. P, uh, sh, p, uh, oh, pull. So both of those words are going to go into this column here. So we're going to do a p, uh, sh. If you have to push the door, and it's the uh sound here, and the other set of people are p, pulling. P, uh, oh, pull. Fantastic, well done. <clears throat> oh, what's that? That is somebody's foot. F, uh, t, foot. I wonder if you can guess which column that's going to go in. Is it going to go here, 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 or here? You've guessed it, well done. Foot has got the double O making the uh sound. F, uh, t, and it's the double O making the uh sound. Fantastic. Well done, and that is the uh and the short uh family. Double O, uh, oh, uh, all making the uh sound and the oh making the uh sound. Fantastic, that's the, this family done. And um, bye for now, thanks for watching.